Hi, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this video, I'm going to describe the mechanics of walking with a cane. Now, I know this is actually a sword and not a cane, but functionally, it's going to serve the same purpose. So let's imagine that I am fresh off the medieval battlefield and some guy got a lucky hit with his bow and arrow and struck me in my left hip. And I can still bear a little bit of weight on it, but it hurts and it's weak and I have to walk a long distance back home. Fortunately, I realize I can use my trusty sword Necromancer to help me get home safely. But how am I going to do that? What are the mechanics? My left hip is hurt it's weak and I have to be able to walk a long distance on it. I'm still able to bear a little bit of weight on it and that's the key with walking with a cane. If I can't bear any weight on it, then a cane doesn't work. I would need crutches to carry my entire body through so I don't have to put any weight on it. But with a slightly painful and slightly weak left hip, I'm able to use a cane and support my weight as I step with my left leg on the ground. So let's look at the mechanics of how this works. When you use a cane, you need to use the cane on the opposite side from the injured leg. Now that sometimes sounds a little bit strange to people who are not familiar with walking with a cane because they think that if your left leg is injured, you would want to have your cane and your left arm to support the weight. But mechanically, that doesn't actually work. The challenge with supporting my weak left leg is that my body weight is all on the right side. So you have my left leg here and most of my body weight is on the right. So if I carry my cane on the left side, it's not able to support all of this weight here. And what it's really doing is almost going to push my body over and I won't be able to walk correctly. So when I'm walking on my injured left leg, if I'm trying to keep upright, I'm really gonna be pushing myself over. What I would functionally have to do is lean over the left leg like that. And that's what some people would do if they're using a cane incorrectly. But what I wanna do is support that single leg stance by supporting the weight of the body. And I'm gonna do that by keeping the cane on the opposite side from the injured leg. Now, fortunately, prior to being drafted into the King's Army, I did a semester at physical therapy school and learned the mechanics of walking with a cane, and that is gonna help me make my way home from the battlefield. Let's look at the mechanics of walking and what would happen with an injured leg. When I'm walking and I have an injured left leg, I have to go through this period or phase of the step where all of my weight is on the left leg as my right leg is swinging forward. During that phase, which is called single leg balance, my hip muscles and all of my leg muscles are required to support my body weight. And my body weight is on the opposite side from the leg. And so what would happen is if I don't have enough strength in my left hip or my left hip is too painful to support myself properly, the body weight on my right side is gonna pull the body over and pop my hip out. So this is what would happen if I was trying to walk on an injured left leg with no support. My body would fall over to the side. Some people try to compensate for that by leaning the body this way. But what would normally happen with the mechanics is my body weight is gonna pull the body this way. And so let's think about that. How do we support that? If I were to be, let's say, carrying a box and I was holding a box and it was too heavy, it might pull my body over. So how would I want to support that if somebody was going to come and help me out? Would I want them to come behind me and try to pull me back up? Or would I want them to come in front of me on the other side of the box and lift the box up from the other side so now I'm able to carry the box with less 
burden on this side because they're supporting the other side of the box. That's essentially the mechanics of walking with a cane. When I'm bearing all my weight on my left leg, I need somebody over here holding up this side of the box. And that is the function of the cane. When I get to the single leg balance position, my cane is supporting the right side of my body, so it's not going to buckle over. And so that is really helping my gluteus medius support myself. The gluteus medius is your hip muscle that helps abduct your hip. Abducting the hip is this action here. And if I am pitching over this way because of an injured leg, abduction, which is that gluteus medius action, would be taking my lower leg and pulling it out, straightening my body up. So that is the function of that muscle, and that is the function that is going to be supported with the cane. Now I'm able to step through and then swing through my injured leg with no support because it doesn't need support in the air, and then bring the cane and the injured leg down at the same time, support it through single leg balance, and then the cane and the leg swing forward at the same time. Now we can watch the side view as I walk several strides with the cane, and you can see how the cane swings forward with the injured leg, and then supports the injured leg through the single leg balance position, and then the cane will come down with the heel. That is the basic mechanics of walking with a cane. If you like this video, of course, click the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, click the bell to get notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching.